Hey guys, the essentials are packed for our next flight. I'm so excited because tomorrow morning we are flying to the west coast of Florida because it's scalloping season. Ground Aztec 2441 Mike's at the Stewart Jet Center with information November. We're looking for a VFR departure to the west. Aztec 2441 Mike's to ground, runway 12, taxi via Alpha, hold short, Charlie. Runway 12, taxi via Alpha, hold short, Charlie, 41 Mike. Aztec 41 Mike, follow the Cherokee, runway 12, full length. Follow the Cherokee, full length, runway 12, 41 Mike. Making sure that guy stopped. You were telling him with your finger. Yep. Stop. I yep. do that too. Ground to right. Tango. The student can't quite figure out how to talk on the radio, so we're heading back to the ramp. <laughs> right. <laughs> what? Been there? <laughs> What'd you say? They're just listening to the radio. What happened? There's someone trying to learn, and they're just trying again. That's what you do. You do your best. And then try again. That's a really big airplane. Oh. Stewart Tower, Aztec 2441 Mike, holding short runway 12, traffic in sight. Aztec 2441 Mike, Stewart Tower, Roger. Aztec 2441 Mike, turn right on course, runway 12, cleared for takeoff. Turn right on course, runway 12, cleared for takeoff, forward Mike. Okay, love you guys. Oh, yeah. Alright, we got airspeed alive, times three. Pages in the green, fuel flows. 55, 65. Gear up. Aztec 2441 Mike, frequency change approved. I'll have a great one. Frequency change approved, 41 Mike, thank you. Palm Beach approach, Aztec 2441 Mike is 12 miles to the northwest of Stewart with request. Aztec 2441 Mike, on approach, group plus 3005 to request. Aztec 2441 Mike is a PA 27, currently 1,500. We're going to climb to 4,500 when cloud layer clears. We're going to uh, Crystal River, Charlie Gulf, Charlie, and requesting flight following. Aztec 441 Mike, Fox 2172. 2172, 41 Mike. Aztec 2441 Mike, radar contact 15 miles northwest of Stewart Airport traffic. 1 to 2 o'clock and it's 2 miles southwest down of stage 3,200. We are looking for traffic for one mic. It could be right on top of us already. Turkey to November Delta, traffic just 22. Number four one mic, traffic during your 6 o'clock, less than half a mile at 4,000. The Cherokee has your sight. Roger, for one mic. I told Shelby she wouldn't need a blank today. No, not today. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. Look how fast these clouds are growing, all these squirts going up. Yeah. Squirts, is that the technical squirts. term? It is. Squirts? Squirts. Don't listen to him, that's not correct. No, it's vertical development. Columns. So look around, how pretty. Towering cumulus. You want me to fly right through these like field goals? Aztec 2441 Mike, what altitude are you climbing to? 6,500 for one Mike. These straight in front of us you're talking about? Yeah. I think we can make it. We're actually going to go to the left of them given the way the drift is, but I can fly through the hole if you want me to. Of course. Here we go, guys. The gap's getting bigger as we go. Less impressive by the second. <laughs> ah. Aztec 2441 Mike, contact to Orlando approach 124.8. 124.8, 419. Orlando approach, Aztec 2441 Mike at 6,500. 2441 Mike, we're going to approach the 3006, fly heading 285, say destination. Fly heading 285, maintain 6,500, destination Crystal River, Charlie Golf, Charlie, 419. 414 Mike, Roger, clear to the Bravo, get you on course shortly. Clear to the Bravo, encore shortly, forward Mike. A lot more directions than I mean, <laughs> I was going to have to do.
<laughs> Once I was off by one. I was planning on flying exactly that anyway. Almost like they've done this to me before. I thought you had the GPS already set up. I do. See how they gave me 280 to stay out of the Bravo? I'm a 41 Mike contact on Lando 120.15. 120.15, forward Mike. The Lando approach, Aztec 2441 Mike at 6500. 441 Mike approach, October 3006. 3006, forward Mike. Yeah, I could have done that one. 41 Mike, you proceed on course to uh, uh, Charlie Golf. Charlie Clinton, the Bravo, maintain 6500. Maintain 6,500, clear through the Bravo, proceed on course to Charlie Golf, Charlie, forward Mike. Good morning, guys. We are headed to the west coast of Florida. We are going to Crystal River, and we are going to, hopefully, River 2 depending on weather today yeah. and then tomorrow morning is our scalloping tour this is 7 a.m. early trying to avoid the afternoon storm so we're headed there today and meeting up with family at least as it stands right now we've got storms today in the afternoon when we're supposed to be tubing and tomorrow in the morning when we're supposed to be scalloping but tomorrow afternoon is good, and this morning is good. So we're flying over, getting in <laughs> position, and uh, we're going to be ready if the weather cooperates. Cross our fingers and hope we can. We're not adding another state to the list this time, but we were talking about Tennessee sometime this summer. Yep. But scalping is only for a short period of time. So today, actually, July 1st, yep. is the very first day of scalloping season. And it goes through September 24th here. We're going to Crystal River, which is in Citrus County, and the Florida Wildlife decides which days you can scallop in certain areas. So that is the time limit for Citrus. So we're headed there, because we can go to Tennessee at any time of the year. Galloping's fine. They call it the underwater Easter egg hunt. Gallops are bottom feeders, so you hold your breath and go down and look through all the little weeds and See if you can find them. The water's not very deep. It's usually, you know, four to eight feet. So you just snorkel on the surface. And they usually sit right on top of the grass. So you, when you see one or, uh, you know, you move the grass with your flipper and you can tell there's scallops down there, you just swim right down and get them, put them in a bag. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, once you find one, you usually find a few more around in the same area. All you need really is a mask and a mesh bag to put them in. And they have a, a restaurant at their docks to where Several. that you can take the, your catch and they'll cook it for you. We'll do that again today for the, tomorrow. tomorrow. If we get in. If we can get out there. Yeah, if the storms don't keep us from doing it. I'll be disappointed if we can't go, but it is what it is. If any of you do get inspired to go to Crystal River uh, or that surrounding area to do a scalloping trip, uh, I would suggest that you stop by Rainbow River, uh, which is a, a spring right nearby. The, the water is crystal clear, usually chilly, uh, but in the middle of summer, that's always a nice thing. And uh, they rent tubes from the state park there. You go and you get your tickets and your inner tubes, and then they load you up on a tram, and then they call you up river, and it's about two hours to slowly flow down back to your starting point. It's fun. Yeah, it's always a good time. We've never been to Crystal River Airport. The beginning of the year, we went to, was it Brooksville, right? Yep. Brooksville, because there was... I Brooksville, but I'm not sure. Well, we, we rented a car because we went to Tampa first and did the aquarium and got A.J. Portillo's. <laughs> and then we drove Portillo's up the to do the... Portillo, yeah. Portillo's is good. They are good. And then we yeah, drove up to still. Crystal River to do the manatees. So that's the same area we're headed. It's Homosassa, actually, is where we're going to do the scalloping tour. Three, we're going out with Red Ed. Three, five, I think it's Adventures, Red Ed Adventures. We used them. Two years ago also, they have a group of captains that can take you out different groups at the same time. So it was good, good fun. And then when we get done with Crystal River, hopefully weather permitting, we will go south to Venice because AJ's parents and AJ's sister and her family are meeting us to do scalloping and river tubing. And they've never been to Venice to look for a shark's teeth. So we're... They're going to drive, we're going to fly, and hopefully meet them. 
and look for a few more shark's teeth, and then head back home. We're going to do it right this time. Last time we just stopped by for a little while. We did a day trip last time, and, so we did uh, it quickly. Yeah, so it was But we, we still found, yeah, we found a lot. We found, yeah, we a, found lot. a lot. I mean, we were there for an hour at the most. But we've got, we've got uh, snorkeling stuff this time, and <laughs> we've got time to rent one of the rake sippers. We'll, we'll get an actual we're gonna get a back full scooper of tape. this time. We're going to do it right. Number 2441 four, one Mike. I do. Number contact Tampa. Approach 135.5, 35. 135.5 five. 5. for one Mike. Tampa approach Aztec 2441 four, one Mike at 6,500. Aztec 2441 four, one Mike. Tampa approach Tampa altitude at 3006. Say destination. 3006, destination is Crystal River, Charlie Golf, Charlie. Begin descent, four minutes. Yep. That was quick. Yep. <laughs> Roger, thank you. Sorry about the wrong freak. No problem. She sounds like the nicest pilot ever. She sounded like a cartoon grandmother. She made it. Know what it is? Grandmother. I love it. <laughs> She'd give me a butterscotch when I got on her plane. <laughs> Good job, Sonny. Good job. <laughs> I like butterscotch. Number <laughs> 41 Mike, VFR descent at your discretion. VFR descent at my discretion, 41 Mike. Man, he was right on. Does descend 500 feet a minute, that's the target, generally. And, uh, He's paying attention. He knows exactly the spot. Aztec 41 Mike, Jack's approach, 118.6. 118.6, 41 Mike. Jacksonville approach, Aztec 2441 Mike at 4000, descending to field. Aztec 244 Mike, Jack approach, Roger, Cal altimeter 3008, advise to get the weather. 41 Mike, we have the weather at Crystal River, 41 Mike. Jack approach, Aztec 2441 Mike, we have Crystal River in sight, can uh, like to cancel flight following. 41 Mike, Roger, we have systems, squawk VFR, free here, good day. Squawk VFR, frequency change approved, appreciate your help. Crystal River traffic, Aztec 2441 Mike is 10 miles to the southeast, inbound for full stop runway Niner, Crystal River. Crystal River traffic, Aztec 2441 Mike is 4 miles to the southeast. Uh, we're going to be ending on a downwind for runway Niner, Crystal River. Crystal River traffic, Aztec 2441 Mike, uh, currently on crosswind, about to turn downwind runway Niner, Crystal River. Guys, ahead of us is the Gulf of Mexico. Cool. That's cool. Crystal River traffic, Aztec 2441 Mike, turning base runway Niner, Crystal River. Crystal River traffic, Aztec 2441 Mike, turning final runway Niner. Turtle, turtle on the field. Oh, gosh. Did you see the turtle on the runway? I thought you yeah. were joking because of what? <laughs> no, that's, when we went that's to an Africa. actual turtle I, on the runway. I had to hop over Oh him. my goodness, I, I can't see over the nose. <laughs> it was so good funny. Did you see it, Shelby? Uh-huh. There's a turtle. What? Like, it must have been pretty big if you could see it yeah, from up here. No, no, actual turtle, right in line with what would have been it the was, right wheel. It was like right in on the line. Yeah. So no, Alpha Charlie, there is a turtle on Alpha, it's, it's moving into the grass now. On surround the takes away Charlie. What was that? I was uh, listening. Well, it's uh, for Pierski Tower, there's a, there's a turtle on uh, turtle? taxiway Alpha moving into the grass now. <laughs> Florida. Crystal River traffic, Aztec 2441 Mike, we are cleared runway Niner. There's always been birds that have been trying to hit you, but lately it's been turtles. Huh? Got a yeah. flock of birds and uh, and a turtle today. It was exactly where I was going to put my wheel, so Wait. I had to pull up a little bit and hop over him and then put it. It went right on the line. Would that have made us wreck? Uh, it no, turtle? it would have killed a turtle though. Well, I don't want to kill a turtle. Either. There's a turtle. Look at him sitting right on the thousand foot markers. So he's not flat. Oh, uh, Keep him moving, turtle. There Traffic approaching Crystal River. Just a heads up. There is a uh, turtle right on the thousand foot markers uh, approaching runway Niner. We just landed there. Thanks, sir. <laughs> pleases me so much. <laughs> Maybe one day he'll be an alligator. 
Aztec, how can we help you? Uh, we're just going to be staying uh, overnight a couple days for a uh, scalloping trip. Right now we got plenty of fuel, so I'm just going to do a tie down. Yes, sir. Please park anywhere to your left, south of the dash line that you feel comfortable. South of the dash line. Appreciate it. He is so nice. All right, well, we've made it. Hopefully we will get to River Tube and Scallop, and we'll see you guys when we hop back in the plane. We're going on this thing. What the? <laughs> Good old thing. It's called, it's called a tram. A tram. A tram's taking us up the river. Yes. Woo! Yay! Woo! <laughs> this is already fun. All right, do it. Do it. Well, thank you. Come look by the edge and see if you can find fish. I don't remember how cold. Ooh. Is it cold? Yes, very. <laughs> but it's going to be fun, right? If you are in Florida and you want something to do besides theme parks and beaches, you are in luck. Florida has more than 700 freshwater springs. Rainbow Springs feeds into the Rainbow River. Year round, the river is about 72 degrees Fahrenheit. We chose to go tubing at Rainbow River State Park. To enter the park is $2 per person, and for the tubing experience is $20 per person. It takes about one and a half to two hours to float down the river. As you can see, the base scallop is a mollusk that is a bottom feeder. They are usually found in four to eight feet of water. They are bivalves, which means they have two shells joined by a hinge. Scallops have many tiny blue eyes along the outer rim of the shell. When threatened, it can swim backwards by opening and closing its shells. In Citrus County, Florida, the daily limit is two gallons of whole scallops per person or 10 gallons per vessel. It's an orange one! Wow. You got the orange one! Yeah! I got the orange one! Show me, show me, show me! Up top! Oh, you put it in the back? Nice! Never seen one! Good job! I found an orange one for the last one right here. Woo! Nice. Orange job, last one. Lucky, lucky. Jack got two. Okay, AJ, how did you do? I did pretty well. Let's see the bag. Yeah, he did okay. Oh. <laughs> see, you got the smaller bag, so it makes it, it look looks like more. So that was bigger. intentional. <laughs> yeah. It matches your outfit.
one of four trays. One of four. And this fella right here caught most of them, didn't you? Or did Daddy? That was me and him. Oh, oh really? Look how that one's painted with a fancy bird feather thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm alive. You're alive. <laughs> a long way to go. Hey! What are you doing? I've got everybody. Floating is not that easy. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, yes, you're the statue. You're a little teapot. Statue of Liberty. All right, less teapot, more liberty. <laughs>